Sailing is a crucial skill you need to know when playing Sea of Thieves. In this video, we are going to cover some helpful tips that can improve your gameplay experience. Let's start off with the pros to a sloop. Now, one of the first things is, it's one of the best ships to sail against the wind. Now, this is because it's got one sail, compared to a brigantine has got two, or a galleon has got three. Also, the sloop has a faster turning, and it's a lot easier to steer that ship, compared to a galleon or a brig. The sloop is also very easy to hide. Now, if you see one of those big rocks in the middle of the sea, you can easily hide your ship behind there. One of the greatest perks to a sloop is that you can still see your map while sailing. Now, this will allow you to maintain that course while being on the top deck. It's one of the most helpful things of a sloop. Now, there are some cons to the sloop. This includes slower sailing speeds. Because you only got the one sail, you know, you're not gonna get somewhere very quickly compared to the rest. You also have a lot less firepower. So if you've got a crew of two, only one of you can use one of the side of the cannons because you only got one on each side. You also have a smaller crew side compared to everyone else. So you have two players compared to the three or four. Now, that might not seem a lot, but in combat, it could make up the difference. Moving on to the Brigantine, the first pro is that you're much faster than a sloop. Now, because you have the extra sail, it makes a lot of difference in speed. A good thing about the Brigantine is it's got a medium-sized firepower. Now, there's two cannons on there, so if you're not getting attacked or you're not taking any damage per se, then you can both go in the cannons and do damage to whatever is attacking you. Now, the crew size is also much bigger because you can have a crew of three. It's also a mix between a sloop and a galleon making it a decent overall ship because you've got perks from the sloop, you've got perks from the galleon. It's sort of like the hybrid. So moving on to the cons. Now the ship's a lot more bigger because you've got two masts and it's a lot longer. It's not easy for you to hide. Also, it only has a one tier deck, so it can fill up quite quickly. If you're not the best bailer, then probably not a ship for you. The Brigantine only has that one level to fill up. Moving on to the galleon. Now the best thing about the galleon is it has a maximum firepower. Just think, you've got four cannons on each side. They are also harder to sink. At the end of the day, they've got two levels where you need to fill to sink the ship. However, if you're only hitting the middle level, you're going to add no water to it at all. It's also the fastest ship to sail around. You can get from A to B quite quick. If you're in the wind, bonus. If you're against the wind, you will start slowing down a bit. So always try and keep yourself in the wind for the maximum performance. Also, the crew size is a size of four. Now, this is really awesome because you've got four teammates to help you with anything. Now, there are some cons to a galleon. You do need a decent crew, otherwise you lose all advantages. Just think, if you've got a team of four, but only you and someone else are doing all the work, you're not really going to be efficient. It's also very slow at turning, so if you're chasing after the sloop and he's zipping and zapping, you're going to lose him pretty quick. Also, one of the things, it's very easy to tuck in the galleon. In the bottom of the galleon, perfect hiding spot. Before you set sail, you need to make sure you know what direction you are going. You can do this by checking the compass for a bearing. This is really important as it will stop you sailing to the wrong island. If you're not sure how to get the compass bearing, then click on the video appearing screen right now. This will show you how to do so. Get the maximum speed by making sure you put your sails in the wind. You can ensure this by checking the sky and you should see some lines go in a certain direction. Or you could even check which way your flags are facing. You can look on top of the crow's nest or even the missionary flag at the back of the ship. Another tip is when you arrive at an island, try and keep your ships facing away so that your front is always facing to the sea. Now this is because if you get attacked by an enemy player and your ship is facing inwards to the island, you have to waste time spinning around whilst getting attacked when you could just be facing to the sea, drop your sails and go. When you arrive at island, just before you get off to explore, always check your horizons because you never know if there's another player waiting for you to leave your ship. They could be hiding behind a rock and they're using a spyglass so always check your horizons. If you are struggling to see far because it might be part of the island in the way, use your crow's nest. It takes a few seconds, but it could save you being stumbled on and getting attacked. I hope this video has been very helpful to you. If it has, then hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Also, we've got a few videos appearing on the screen right now. You might enjoy them as there are other guides that I have done on Zero Thieves.